For this competition, Hack the Air Force 2.0, the Air Force uses uh, bug bounties and white hat hackers to be able to shore up our defenses. This event's been great. Uh, we're fortunate to have a few of our airmen come out and participate. We've got the defenders back home taking a look at what the bug hunters are doing. The folks that are here competing, they go through an intense screening process. Uh, they're, they're vetted in order to even be part of this competition. Everybody knows something a little bit different and the level of depth that they have with one offshoot of like a web technology or, or a potential vulnerability is just amazing. It's hard to grow that kind of talent in-house and so uh, when you crowdsource that you're able to uncover things that maybe uh, you don't have the expertise for. This, this is something that we should be doing, it's something that industry does. Uh, we've got to take those best practices from industry and apply them to government. It's a very effective way to unmask vulnerabilities and secure our applications um, because we're able to crowdsource expertise from, from really around the world.